Greetings. I want to tell you a story about light. It's a true story. I know it's true because it, it happened to me. The importance of light in our life is hardly possible to overestimate. Isaiah, moved upon by the Holy Spirit, saw that the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of the shadow of death, on them light has shined. On my 11th birthday, my father gave me a five-cell flashlight. Great long thing with a big head. I was so proud of that I could hardly stand it. I played with it. Shined it all through the day, and my mother warned me. She said, you wear the batteries out and you won't have any more light. And I, I believed her. I knew she'd be telling me the truth. And I tried to leave it alone, but I just kept going back to it and playing with it. Played with it through the night. A few days later, we, I was living then on an island, Sunshine Island in Maine. Dad was a pastor of the church there. And uh, we had what we call YPA, Young People's Association. And uh, we had to walk through a woodland path down to Mr. Eaton's house where we meet with the other kids. And I remember we were memorizing John 14. See who can memorize it quickest. In those days, memorization was easy. Anyway, I walked down through the woods to his house and we had the meeting, good refreshments, lots of fun with the other kids. And then it was coming on dark and so we headed back home. Now, ordinarily I'd take a ride home. I never have been a great walker, but I wanted to walk through the woods with my flashlight. So my brother took a ride home. So I'm going through the woods alone with my, my flashlight. And I turned it on and one too long before it started getting dim and then dimmer and dimmer until it totally went out and here am I on an island with no street lights in the woods it was a familiar path to me but when it's to totally black I was going by the feeling of my feet on the ground going an inch at a time I didn't think I was ever going to get home and I was scared I heard all kinds of stories about wild animals on a little island like that. There weren't any, but still, you believe that things when you're a kid. And as I walked along, I heard something make an awful grunt, and I was terrified. And then I tripped and stumbled and fell on a great furry creature that stood up and made an awful noise. And I thought I was going to die right there. I knew it must be a bear. Of course, there are no bears there. But I never was more frightened, I don't think, in my whole life than I was those moments. And after the animal left, didn't bite me or do anything to me, just made noises and ran away, I uh, was able to creep along again. Now I'm praying for light. I know some of my best praying when I was afraid wasn't too long before I could see a dim light toward the end of the path. Mr. Hensler had left his porch light on. I don't think it could have been more than a 25 watt bulb and it was very far away. But I want you to know that a very small light on a very dark night is a wonderful thing to see. When I saw that light I knew where to go. And I followed it till I got home. And I thanked God and I was so proud to be safe. And I didn't care if I did have dead batteries. I wasn't going to be <laughs> using that flashlight for a while. Not walking in those woods. When we are awakened to the truth that Christ is the light, we can move out of a life of terrifying darkness, out of a darkness which is filled with baseless fears. 
and move toward the light. People living in darkness see a great light. But even if you see a very small light, it's wonderful. And that's good news for you and me if, if we follow Christ. Because Jesus, who said, I am the light of the world, also said to you, his followers, you are the light of the world. You don't hide your light under a bushel. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father as is in heaven. You will remember a familiar hymn, the chorus of which is, Let the lower lights be burning. There is the great light of Christ, the hope of our salvation, but we are lesser lights. And we shine our little bit wherever we are, people seeing your good works, Think about God. All who follow me, said Jesus, will not walk in darkness. Later he said, you are the light of the world. When we receive his light, we become like him and shine like stars in a very dark world. Let's shine for Jesus. On the hilltop stands a lighthouse that overlooks life's sea. And when I'm lost, it sends out a light that I might see. And the light that shines in the darkness now will guide me. Safely old If it wasn't For the lighthouse My ship Would sail no more And I thank God For the lighthouse I owe my life To Him For Jesus is The lighthouse and from the rocks of sea He has shined the light around me So that I might clearly see If it wasn't for the lighthouse Tell me where would this ship be? It seems that everybody says to tear the old lighthouse down The big ships don't pass this way no more It's no use hanging around But my mind goes back to a stormy night I saw that light, it was the light From that old lighthouse That stands upon the hill And I thank God for the lighthouse I owe my life to Him For Jesus is the lighthouse and from the rocks of sea He has shined a light around me So that I might clearly see If it wasn't for the lighthouse Tell me where would this ship be? And the light that shines in the darkness now will guide me safely old if it wasn't for the lighthouse 
Sails my ship would sail no more.